It does not take a genius to figure out that President Donald Trump definitely harbors some level of xenophobia and racism to the point that he is willing to separate migrant children from their families at the border for no good reason. However, recent reports suggest that the Trump administration's reign of terror on immigration issues might be about to come to a swift end. Democratic Representative Elijah Cummings of Maryland is the chairman of the powerful House Oversight Committee, and he has Trump and his immigration policy in his sights. The Oversight Committee has the power to compel the heads of the committees for justice, homeland security, and health and human services to deliver documents to lawmakers. So Cummings is in an excellent position to get things moving on this. And the House just voted to confirm the sending of a subpoena to the Trump administration over the family separations. Cummings was delighted by that development. Dot I believe this is a true national emergency, he said. When our own government rips children from the arms of their mothers and fathers with no plans to reunite them, that is government-sponsored child abuse. Trump does still have some people fighting his corner in Congress. For instance, GOP Rep. Jim Jordan of Ohio, who is the highest-ranking Republican on the Oversight Committee, sent a letter to Cummings, essentially pleading with him not to send the subpoenas out, arguing that they would not be necessary because, incredibly, the administration is apparently going to voluntarily give up the documents in question, which begs the question, why then do they care about the subpoena at all? He wrote. We should not rush to compel documents from the departments, especially when they have sought to comply with your request voluntarily. It was not long before Cummings fired back. The information we got was not one name, not one number, Cummings said. Zilch. This is a man who is clearly not going to take no for an answer and the administration has been backed into a corner to the point that they sent a spokesperson out to point out all the documents they have already shared, which is totally irrelevant, of course. Caitlin Oakley, spokeswoman for the Department of Health and Human Services, said. Additionally, we have transparently provided 792 pages of documents related to the committee's request. The clock is ticking. Soon, they will have no choice but to comply, and then the truth will come out.